Hello, my crafty friends, and welcome to another month of our Lawn Fun Lovers Collaboration. Woo -woo. So this month is all about friendship and what is more friendly than giving your friend some tags. And that's what I'm doing today. I'm making some tags for Scrap Diva 29 on YouTube. She's having a um like a giveaway uh, for I think she reached 11,000 subscribers, which is amazing, balls! Yay, girl, do your thing. I love her. She's a fellow Georgia girl, and you know, I I don't know. I just always want to support other YouTubers who are doing that crafty thing, y'all. So we're making these tags for her, and um, I'm using two stamp sets. One has ran away. Here goes another one. <laughs> I'm using the. For you, dear, and this was a tag set. They recently came out with a set that um, complements this. It's, um, I think, slow down or something. I don't know. But it features a sloth and an elephant in that one. I don't have it yet. Um, I probably will order it. But I wanted to use these, even though they came out in the December release or for the, like, the winter release. Um... I want to be able to use my stamps all year long. I don't believe in, okay, that's a Christmas stamp. I, it has to wait to November before I can pull it out. No. We're going to use this bad boy all year long, all four seasons, because this bear, even though they market it as a polar bear, it can easily be a brown bear or a black bear, you know, or pink bear or whatever color bear you want your bear to be. And if you're in Georgia, you have deers. All year long let me just tell you we have deers and um, even though it's a reindeer this bad boy is just gonna be a, a male deer and those are his little baby antlers you, you feel me <laughs> so that's where we are right now and I'm using these to make a um, a bacon thing tag um, Erica loves to bake so I'm going to use the little cupcake and let them hold cupcakes because it's like you know we're giving you some goodies and um i probably use this like just for you and the for you dear uh and then the two from right here but also i want to try and use the panda birthday uh, ta uh stamp this is what they are doing for a promotion all year long when you place an order in the month of your birthday you get a free stamp and um some dies which is awesome thank you i love this little guy and I'm going to try to use him in place of one of these deers. Now, he's not it's not going to be perfect because his arms are a little bit shorter than this guy's. But you can always um, extend the arms because they're just black. And I have black copets or uh, black markers. And I can extend that and you'll never know the difference. It'll be all good, y'all. <laughs> all right. So let me stop blabbling and let's get started. All right, so I have all my images on my Misty tool. If you have a stamp platform, I suggest you use it, especially when you're um, stamping out these little pandas, because in my experience, one step, uh, one stamp, one stamp <laughs> never gets them, you know, as crisp as you would want them to be. So the cool thing about this Lawn Fun black ink is that you can use it with almost any coloring medium. It's Copic safe. You can use it with your alcohol. Well, that is your alcohol markers. So <laughs> it's alcohol marker safe. I should say that instead of saying Copic. But it's alcohol marker safe and it's, um, it's waterproof. So you can use it with like your zigs and... Um, I think it's uh, it's an iCarvel, yep, fate resistant. So you can even use it with your scrapbooking. So you don't have to worry about it. One ink that rules them all. I still use my Versa, um, Versa Mark, Versa Fine ink though. If I can get my thoughts together. You guys, I cannot talk and work at the same time. And honestly, I kind of like doing my videos real time to save on editing. So that's why you guys have to listen to me struggle. So, <laughs> but you don't mind, right? All right. So what I'm going to do is kind of like fan it off real quick, let it dry and then flip it over and stamp on this side. All 
right, so first up, I am going to color out my deers, and I am coloring them with E11 or E11, E23, E25, and R20 for a little bit of blush. So now it's time to do our black bear and I am just using the warm grays. I'm using the W1, W3, W5, W7 and I'm going to try to get him a little bit of blush as well with the R20. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> we will see how it goes. All right, so we have everything all colored out. Now we can cut some things out. And I'm using actual dies to, you know, cut these out. I do have a scan and cut, um, but I'm not using it for this just because it's hard to use. <laughs> Cause it doesn't have a bottom line with this one. So, and these need to line up pretty perfectly so they can make the tag shape. So I actually bought the tags for this one. So if you are thinking about getting a scan and cut and you have the idea that if I buy a scan and cut, I will never have to buy dyes again. Um, that is not going to happen. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, um, about 90% of my stamps I don't need the dies for, but you're still going to need a couple of dies for things like this. It's just easier to use the dies. And I forgot to cut out the little back side for my panda bear, so I'm just going to use the same bear stamp. And as you can see, I'm stamping it out by hand. No need to use the misty for two little steps. And I'm going to color it in like a panda's backside. The thing is, I don't know what this I don't know what that looked like. So yes, I am about to Google panda booty. <laughs> yes. And you'll be surprised with what comes up. That's not what I want. Let's do back view. Okay, so I had to Google it. All right, so here's what a panda normally looks like from the back. Um, so they have like the little stripe and then the main back side is, um, is white and the ears are black. So I'm gonna try to recreate that with these. So I'm grabbing all my warm grays and I'm gonna start with kind of shading in all the areas that should be the darkest. And I'm using the uh, W1 just so I can get an idea about where I wanna put stuff. Right, and then they have dark little leads as we know. Then I'm gonna come in with my really dark colors and just go over where I colored. And this way, I would kind of know where I'm going. All right, so now we have to fussy cut it just a little bit to make it look right. Because as you can see with these, the line is like right around their little arms. And since his arms are not long enough, 
We're just gonna clip it just a little bit. So now he matches up. And another way, and I just thought about this, another thing I could have done was just took this image and colored all this area black, but you know, it would have been the dark eyes, but you could have you could have made do. But what's done is done. What's done is done. We will make it work. And I'm not really worried about this part showing because that is where our cupcake is going to go. So it works out fine. All right, so let's start making our actual tags. So because I wanted these tags to be able to apply to all seasons, I have the pink for spring. I have this uh, like teal blue color for um, fall. And it's like a bluish green. It's so beautiful. And I have the yellow for summer. And I have this light blue and gray for winter. So here's how I cut my tags out because I want the front and the back to be the actual paper. So all I did was cut it and cut out a little square and fold it in half. And then I'm going to lay my die on it and run it through my machine. This will give me um, the pattern that I want on both sides. All right, so this is out the die and I'm just peeling it off. I think this is so cute. <laughs> And we have the front and back of the tags. And I'm going to grab my sticker maker because I feel like this is the easiest way to do this and give everything a run through. I do have a bigger version of this, but it's in my car. <laughs> and I don't feel like walking to the garage. And we have everybody with a face and a gadonk <laughs> All right, so now we are going to add the cupcakes. And I was thinking, do I want them all to hold cupcakes? And my answer was, no, I don't. So I think I'm only gonna have two of them holding cupcakes. And I pulled out the party animal stamp set because it uh, has like a lot of stuff for them to hold. So I think I want them to hold like different things. So maybe he could hold like a whole cake. He could hold a present. It can, you know, be different. I am going to use all the same colors like I did with this cupcake. Um, just so they're kind of go. They're the same but different. <laughs> Alrighty, so now we are going to give everybody something to hold. I love this little idea. I think it's so cute. Give him a present. Give him some cake. Give him the cupcake. And give this little guy heart so they all are bringing gifts <laughs> i think that's so adorable you guys know i'm a sucker for some critters bringing presents and cake because you know it just don't happen in real life which is sad <laughs> it might mend the relationship between man and animal <laughs> all right so now we are going to stamp our saying on here and silly me I did all of this before doing that running the risk of you know stamping wrong but I'm just gonna use my misty and all that's left to do is add your ribbon or twine or 
eyelash ribbon or whatever you call this stuff <laughs> to your tags and that's it we have everything and they look just as cute um from behind as they do from the front and I really do like the way they came out makes me want to shake it for some reason seeing their little bones make them want to shake it 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 and the channel just got weird. All right, so that is it for me today. You guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. Please be sure to go check out the other ladies. The link is in the description below. They are super creative and amazing when it comes to the Lawn Fun crafting. You will not be disappointed. So follow the links and check everyone out. You will not be disappointed. I promise you. So that's it for me today. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.